guys, welcome back to Grace's room. So first of all, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who wished me well. I'm COVID free now and I'm feeling a lot better. Sadly, it's that time of year again where I have to think about going back to school. I really don't want to because I'm enjoying my school holidays, but I thought that this year I would try getting ready a little bit earlier so that way I can enjoy the last two weeks of my school holidays. Um, this year I don't have as many textbooks that I'll need to take on the first day, seeing that a lot of it is online now, but I do have to stock up on some stationery. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is go to the shops, like Officeworks and Kmart, just so I can stock up on some supplies. I also need to get like a lunchbox, I think, as well. So let's do that first. So I'm currently in Typo um, and I'm just looking at their pencil cases. We've got a couple of options here. They have some really cute patterns. I'm just wondering if the size is big enough. So I might have to keep looking. So we're able to find some stationery in here. I've got these two really cute pens. They're so cool. too much at Typo so we're gonna to go to Kiki K now and hopefully we can find some more things. So I'm in Kiki K now and I'm just looking at some of their things. They have so many cute um, like stationary items and like pencil cases here. I'm loving this pencil case. It's so pretty. Honestly there's probably a lot of things in here that I don't need but I'm still gonna get because it's so cute. But I think I'm still gonna go to Kmart because I haven't gotten a lunchbox yet and I need like some highlighters as well. So we'll go there now. We're just in Kmart and we're looking at the lunch boxes. A lot of them have like um, some sort of pattern on them. I'm kind of looking for like more of a plain black or just a really plain color and if there's something too <laughs> bright. So I'm not sure if we're gonna have much luck here. So it seems like this is all that Kmart really has as far as stationery, so I'm probably gonna have to head over to Officeworks because I'm not really gonna find much here. So we were about to go to Officeworks and we just quickly stopped in town with storage and we found this really nice lunch box. Um, and it's like exactly what I was looking for. It's just a plain black one and it's got like nice storage and stuff. So definitely gonna get this one. So we made it to Officeworks and I'm absolutely loving this setup because I can like test all the colors. I'm definitely gonna be spending a while here. The main thing I need though is highlighters and I think I like these ones and they have quite a few colors so I can choose whichever ones I want. Okay after like a good 15 or 20 minutes I ended up choosing my highlighter colors. This was a very difficult decision but I'm very happy with them. I think now we're only like a pen or something otherwise I think I'm pretty much good for stationery. They have all these workbooks here, um, but I have so many leftover workbooks from like previous years that I'm not going to worry about buying any other ones. Um, so I think we're pretty much done here at Officeworks. Got my highlighters, um, I've got some mechanical pencils as well, but I'll do a full haul when I get back home. I'm back home now and I've got everything laid out in front of me. Uh, so I'm doing six subjects this year. I'm doing psychology, business management, media, visual communication design, English and general maths. So I definitely have a lot of those books. Um, and like I said before, I, a, lot, a lot of my textbooks are online this year. So luckily we don't have to pack too much. Um, but I think I'm gonna start with packing all my stationery first because I'm pretty excited to do that. I've got some really cool new things like these um, mechanical pencils in a couple of colors. It's pretty cool. Just got like some pens and stuff here. Got like 
some whiteboard markers as well since I like to keep a whiteboard at my desk over there um, just like when I'm doing like math problems and stuff and so I got some cute colors um, and I think sorry oh yeah here we go I've got uh, a new pencil case as well this year this is from Kiki K it is so pretty I thought that I'd put like my coloring pencils in here seeing as I only need it for visual communication design um, and then just like my general stationery in here so let's pack that first. We've got some really cute things. Um, I just have this pen from last year that I'm just going to use again. It's really good. Um, this colourful pen here. Has some fine liners. This new pen I got today. It's got like all these different colours on it. I love pens. And then I got this new ballpoint pen. It's like got butterflies on it. It's from Typo. It's so cute. I got another one as well with like this cool like butterfly gel thing in it. But I think I'll take this one with me to school. Glue stick. I have a mini stapler from like two years ago. It looks a little bit dirty, but um, I really like using it. It's very handy. Everyone always has to borrow it. Just a rubber and or an eraser. A sh uh, pencil sharpener. Scissors. Ooh, hopefully everything's gonna fit. I actually wasn't sure if everything was really gonna fit in this pencil case, but we'll make it. Some sticky notes, and then I've got all these highlighters. Okay, it's a bit of a tight squeeze. I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> I've probably got too many highlighters, but like when there's so many colors there, you can't help yourself but buy them all. Um, I might take some out. a little bit <laughs> chunky but everything fits in there so that's good oh, I've got my mechanical pencil I'll pack that later <laughs> um, I actually found in my cupboard this unopened packet of Derwent pencils that I had obviously bought a couple of years ago and I've like not touched them so I thought this is perfect I'll bring them to school this year so I'll put them all in this mini pencil case um, hopefully they will fit <laughs> Perfect. They all fit in there perfectly. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Yay. Okay. Well, that worked out really well, actually. That should be really nice to carry around. Okay. So, some other things I want to show you that I bought today. Um, I got this mini calendar. I thought this might be cute to keep on my desk since I didn't really want a really big thing. Um, I also got a planner. I'm going to make it a mission this year, a new year resolution to try and use a planner a little bit more, be a little bit more organized. I seem to never use a planner. I always buy one every year and I just hardly touch it, but I'm gonna try and use it this year. I just have to bring my dictionary with me. This is just from like the start of high school. So nothing new there. I got a new water bottle. Well, actually this is the same water bottle I've been using for like the past year, but I got a new one seeing as I kind of I um, got the other one a little bit dirty, but it's like so good. It's a thermos one. Um, I got a pencil case here because I wasn't sure if this would fit everything, but I think this fits everything. So I might just keep this one to the side as a little backup. And I got a new lunchbox, which I'm so excited about. This one's really cool. You can put it in the freezer and it'll keep things nice and cool. Um, I like the color as well. It was just like a plain black a bit of storage in there so pretty happy with this purchase okay now it's time to start packing my folders for all my subjects so I think I might start with business management I have got an actual hard copy textbook this year for business management um, and in this pile I have a workbook we had um, one week of orientation at the end of last year, so I've actually started using some books already. So it's a lot easier than having to label a lot of them. Okay, I think I've got my little label um, maker here, so I will probably do this at the end for all my subjects. But that's business management. This one here I'll do for psychology, so I've already got a workbook for that. And, <laughs> oh that's right. They have like these little checkpoint things. I think they might have got like just some uh, exam practice questions and stuff in there. Um, so I'll put that in there as well. But that's pretty much all. My textbook's online for psychology. 
This one here I'll use for English maybe. I've got a, quite a few books for English this year actually. Um, there we go. I have this 128 page book that we need for English. Um, this analyzing and presenting argument <laughs> textbook. And then we're reading a couple of books this year. The first one we're reading um, is this book with a bunch of short stories called Like a House on Fire. It's just got like a little, um, I don't know, this like a text guide book. So I'll pack that, but I think that's pretty much all for English. The other books, if you're wondering, that we're doing this year, we're reading some lyrics from Paul Kelly. Um, I don't know much about this. And we're also reading this book called Ransom, which sounds pretty interesting. So see how that goes. Alright, now let's do maths. For maths, I need one book to write notes in and then a workbook to do like all the equations and stuff. I've already sadly had to start using this. Yeah, not sure if I'm gonna love maths this year. I've also got my really big calculator and a ruler because it's pretty much the only subject I use a ruler for. Um, I think that's all for ink maths. Ooh. I have another little checkpoint thing for maths as well. And finally, I'm going to be combining my Viscom and Media folder because honestly, you don't really need a lot of stuff for Media um, and Viscom. I have these two plastic pockets that I'm going to need to use the other display folders for um, Media. We use that for like our documents and stuff in there and for viscom they're actually going to give us a folder at the start of the year um it's like an a3 one it's not going <laughs> technical difficulties okay sorry about that but for viscom i don't really actually have to bring anything for that okay so now it's time to use the label maker and label all my folders. Alright, so I've labelled all my folders and I've just tidied up a little bit and it's time to start packing my bag. It will definitely be a lot easier to take everything to school this year seeing that so, um, I have less subjects. But they are pretty heavy folders so probably still going to break my back. Um, I don't actually know what subjects I've got on the first day yet so I might just put like three or something in there for now. And probably have to carry the rest. My laptop here as well. Gonna get a bit tight in there. Um, pencil case. I'm just gonna try to sneak my dictionary in there, but it looks like that's probably gonna be too hard, so I might put it in one of my folders. was impossible to zip up um, but I uh, still need to pack my lunchbox yet since there's nothing in there but I think I'm all packed and ready for the first day of school. I'm so glad that I got that over and done with. Now I can enjoy the last two weeks of my school holidays and don't have to worry about school yet. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are going back to school soon then good luck and I'll see you guys next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now. Okay, I'm gonna try to bring this downstairs. <laughs>